Greetings, comrades. The night is still young. I figure I'll give you all a little supplementary rant before I mosey on to the rest of my activities for tonight. Uh, I just want to talk a little bit about being an empath, feeling guilty after I smear people, and um, how I really feel underneath it all, man. And how I really feel is like sometimes I feel like I don't even know how I really feel. Like I've just been so caught up in the roller coaster ride of my life. It's like things keep changing. My atmosphere changes. Um, Vegas was a very long arc. I was there from 2014 up until very recently, moving here in the summer. A lot of different things happened there. Tried to be a rapper, played in a band, went to UNLV. All of those things, you know, lasting for like a year and a half each i spent all of 2015 writing songs shot the music video recorded my singles in 2016 and then pretty much all of 2016 was like crossing my fingers hoping that was going to go somewhere um it all started to sink in in 2017 and then finally i went to unlv fall 2017 i'm very frustrated a lot of things get on my nerves. Obviously, you know, like my rant on the boomers, my rant on feminism. It's all based on how I actually feel. You know, I am very frustrated with what I feel like boomers have allowed to happen to this country. I'm very frustrated with how I perceive a good portion, if not the majority of modern women, how they act. But it's so hard for me to do that Kamehame smear and then just leave it be, man. I regret it. And it's not just because of the damage I think it will cause. It's because I want to have friends, man. You know, like, I think I'm a nice person. I think my humor has become very edgy. But in a more wholesome way, because, you know, I'm not somebody who has to, like, eat a Quran or rip up a Quran or whatever. Or really get, like, really low and racist. You know, I had the one clip that about South Africa that a lot of people really tried to rub in. But I feel like a lot of other people's edginess is much more low blows, much more hatred infused. I um I take kind of this uh I take kind of this overarching feminist ideology that represents a lot of women in universities today, a lot of women who finish university or fresh out of high school, fresh into university. A lot of the kind of overarching boomer mindset, boomers who believe anything on the news who don't see the bigger picture behind wars and behind what's happening to the country. I feel like it's bullying, man. I think it's bullying. And on one hand, I wanna get my point across. I want people to see through feminism and see through the boomer mindset. But on the other hand, I don't wanna be a bully and I don't, want to say things that just push all boomers away or all women away um it's not really who i am man you know i'm wild and crazy and shit gets pretty litty over here when i'm live i'm kind of just throwing things out there and hoping for the best you know i lost a lot of friends that way that's where the problems in kodiak started it does seem to be rooted in my humor I think it's funny to use the nuclear option. It's funny to just go shit ham crazy on boomers and see how mad they get. It's funny to just go shit ham crazy on women and see how mad they get. But the part of me that's a philosopher and wants to keep things 100 and wants to try to steer things into a direction 
that actually gets things done and actually makes a difference, it's the part of me that wants to say, you know what, boomers? Vietnam was not a positive thing. You know what, women? The Rockefeller Foundation really does want to spread feminism to all corners of the world. I want you guys to hear my point, and I don't want it to be driven by pure rage and anger and resentment because it's too easy for people to say oh you're just mad that you know you don't have money like boomers oh you're just mad that you don't have any women and i think it's obvious that on some level a little bit of that is true i'm not just resentful towards women and boomers but there is resentment towards women and boomers peppering the things I say and uh, I'm still out here trying to be a better person I just recently came back to streaming and these are the things I was trying to avoid I'm trying to make improvements I'm trying to be able to go live and be accountable for everything I say and if I have an excuse it's that I'm I'm trying to be entertaining I'm trying to be funny and anybody who's ever like tried to be funny and you're not funny, it really sucks, man. It really sucks to be live and have an audience and try to be funny and people are just like, yikes, dude, you're not funny. That's fucking cringe. And I think part of the reason I'm so consistently able to get laughs and able to feel like I'm killing it is because I'm so willing to just hit that fucking toxic nuclear button. It's like I'm a keyboard player. It's like, ready, everybody? Here I go. Here's the smear. The smear is mercilessly electrify boomers, mercilessly shit on women. And if I'm trying to break it down to how accurate what I'm saying is, I think like the things that I'm saying are 100% accurate. Like I stand behind what I'm saying, but what I'm trying to get, like it's what's my end game? And I even said on stream, I don't even know what my end game is. What my end game should be is to make boomers understand that there is this overarching mindset that's bringing boomers that's like weaponizing them against their kids and younger generations and helping the system to do what it's doing is to make women understand that I don't want to see women enslaved or it's not about thinking that women are inferior. It's about women being different than men. And this idea of women and men being equals, you know what that really brings to mind is Star Trek. Star Trek was the original televised blueprint for this new kind of society. You know, the Federation basically goes around the galaxy and puts everybody in check who doesn't bow down to the New World Order. And I'm not going to take claim for this analysis. I'd go say, I'd go say, I'd say watch Jay Dyer's analysis of Star Trek. Um, that's a very good example of what the new world order is there's many good examples you know brave new world's pretty accurate plato's republic is accurate this isn't just the part of me that wants to get hired by boomers but it wouldn't hurt nor the part of me that just wants to get laid by women but it wouldn't hurt it's the part of me that's a philosopher and wants to have an impact and wants to actually make a difference and want some boomers to be like, yeah, I realize that Vietnam wasn't a positive thing. I feel like I see where you're coming from about CIA culture creation. And this guy's got a point. And for women to take a look at the Rockefeller website and say, boy, there really is some serious corporate money going into this ideology. It's the part of me that wants my points to be more than just comedy and yeah um i'm starting to think about the future and you know should i really just be this character forever who's unhinged and ha 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 he hit the nuclear button again 
he smeared all of his possible employers and girlfriends and friends right off of the face of the earth. <laughs> Y'all know that I'm ready to just be me forever, but who I am is not just that. My excuse is that it's fucking funny. I'm high-fiving the bros, but Wolfgang needs to be about making a point that sticks, that has an impact. So I'm going to stay the course with streaming. It has been a bumpy ride. I think we're about four streams deep now. Um, We're going to keep going, man. Wolfgang is going to keep going. This year has to have been the craziest year of my life. I just, you know, being gang stalked to the point where I had to move and throw this move together. That streak in Vegas was nasty, guys. And people are like, ha ha, you got chased out of Vegas. Man, I was stuck in Vegas and it was going nowhere. And I got mixed feelings about living where I'm living now. But it got me out of that rut. It got my mind working. I feel like I'm headed in a positive direction. And for the sake of that positive direction that we're headed in, I need to let y'all know that I do not hate all of the boomers. I don't think all boomers are stupid, nor do I think that all women are garbage, nor do I think that all women are feminists. And when it comes down to feminism, like, you know, well, first wave feminism was good, right? Second wave feminism was good. Ultimately, society has been headed in the wrong direction for a very long time. And I disagree with capitalism. I disagree with the Protestant work ethic. I think some of the direction that everything I'm saying is going right now is just going to have to be dog-eared for another time because that's getting into a pretty elaborate explanation there. Ladies, this is not how I think the world should be, okay? I do not think we should all be going to college together and, you know, you're in the sorority and I'm in the frat and we meet at the frat sorority parties. I don't think the world should be this way. It's not your fault. It's not my parents' fault. It's not the boomers' fault. That's just, that's just how I am. It's how a lot of men are. And all of the men in my sphere that I'm having any sort of an impression on, I need y'all to know that I don't think you should act the way that I act on my streams in the funniest moments. It's been good times. They're easy laughs. It's easy, man. It's money in the bank, okay? The smear routine, it kind of never gets old. And if I didn't grow a pair and start fucking reining it in, I could probably just smear everybody forever until I'm in a corner laughing like a fucking nutcase by myself with my cats and until I run out of money and I get kicked out of the fucking streets. <laughs> so it ain't just about saying what people want to say, man. It's saying what needs to be said because I'm not a bad person and... It gets a little bit nutty. It gets a little bit nutty, guys. So those are my thoughts. God bless y'all. Not trying to dox anybody. This is my comeback to streaming. It's been a bumpy ride. I'm just checking in with y'all. Making sure you have a good idea of where I'm at. I'm going to take a shower. Watch Mr. Robot. And I'll see you guys next time. God bless. Reform.